Ano pangalan mo? Helen S. Sarnal. Ano po? 39. 39. Makalawa lang. Ilan po ang anak niya? Bali, lima. Ikailan po si Ika? Pang-apat. Pang-apat. Bakit niyo po naisip ang sanasal ko kaso? Sa pangalan pa lang po ay medyo high-tech na yung dating. Tsaka talaga pong nahubog po siya. Ang mga kapatid po niya, tutuwa at laging para bang sikat. <laughs> Siyang nangunguna lagi sa sa eskwelahan nila. Ano ang gusto mong maging Kathleen? Teacher po. Teacher. Bakit mo gusto maging teacher? Kasi po para maturuan ng ibang bata. Who is the faith for the papa faith? Who is the hope for the hope? Who is the love for the love? Who gives the joy for the joy? The school today is doing very well. We already have two jeepneys, Jeepney Kuya 1 and Jeepney Kuya 2. We have more or less 150 students in three grade levels, grades 1, 2, and 3, obviously. <laughs> and we have five teachers, three of whom are newly hired this year, and three brothers who work here full time. Brother Ricky, who's principal, Brother Manny, who's the Christian living teacher. <laughs> and myself, and I teach the language courses, uh, that means language reading and Filipino. Very good! Palakpakan si Nicola! Kapag tuturo po nila talaga, naaasikaso po nila yung mga bata. Dito po naging maano po siya, naging matatag po siya, na naging malawak po ang kanyang isip dahil We're now using the six classrooms that were originally built. Each classroom now is equipped with a mini library. Well, improvements in the past year. Right now we have a multi-purpose hall. It's actually a covered area where the children can play sports and games. And we also hold assemblies there. The up-and-coming improvements are the new school building that have, that's being constructed now in front of the first building that was built. Soon we, in, we intend to have a football field and other sports facilities. Maybe more school buildings equipped with a laboratory, maybe a proper library in the near future. Pag-aaral po niya talaga ng ano, nasabaybayan po. Currently, because of certain realities that uh, students are not all students are capable of paying the tuition fee of 50 pesos a month we've decided to accept tuition fee in kind. So the past few weeks have been rather amusing because we receive tuition fee in terms of fruits, vegetables, fish. Occasionally it also works like the parents volunteer to, to offset the tuition by offering janitorial services or whatever work they can for the school. Masama po ako sa school po natin dito para po makapag-volunteer po na sa pag-tulong-tulong po dito sa ating school para din po masubaybay ang po yung ibang bata hindi po sumasama yung mga natin. One of the most moving things is just the number of people trying to help our schools. People from all walks of life, from people who who are very generous in terms of money and people who are very generous with their time. I, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the people who are contributing out of the goodness of their heart in whatever capacity they can, whether it be financial, material, or research. We value every little bit of help that comes. 
hopefully we can also have you here to visit our school. Uh, don't worry, you don't have to shell out money to help our school. <laughs> Even volunteer work is very important. <laughs>